Hi, I'm Elizabeth from Printful. In this video, I'll show you how to connect your Etsy shop to your Printful account, add your first products, set up shipping, and publish your listing so you can start selling in no time. So what's Etsy? Etsy is a global marketplace where people sell handmade items, vintage goods, and custom products. It's a great place to start if you want to sell your designs without building a website or worrying about traffic, since more than 90 million buyers shop on Etsy every year. And if you want to sell products like t-shirts or mugs with your own designs, that's where Printful comes in. When you connect your Etsy store to Printful, your products are made and shipped automatically every time someone orders, so you can focus on designing and growing your brand. All right, let's dive in. The first step is to create your Printful account. Head over to Printful.com, click sign up, and fill in your details. You can make it even faster by signing up with your Google or Apple account. Once your account is ready, you'll land on your Printful dashboard. You'll use the store section later to connect your Etsy shop, but before you do that, let's make sure your Etsy account is set up too. To create an Etsy account, go to etsy.com, click sign in in the top right corner, then select register and fill in your details. You can also sign up using your Google, Facebook, or Apple account to make the process even faster. Once you've registered, look for a confirmation email from Etsy and follow the instructions to verify your account. Once your account is ready, it's time to open your shop. Click on your profile picture, choose sell on Etsy from the menu, and then click get started. Etsy will guide you through a few setup steps to create your shop. When you reach the end, click Start Your Shop to continue. Next, you'll set your shop preferences. Choose your language, country, and currency, then click Save and Continue. Now it's time to choose your shop name. For this tutorial, I'll go with Meow Brew because I love coffee and cats. Your shop name should be between 4 and 20 characters with no spaces or special characters. Don't worry, you can always change it later if you want. Once you've decided, click Save and Continue. Next, let's move on to the How You'll Get Paid section. Here, select your bank location and choose what type of seller you are for tax purposes. Then fill in your personal details. Click Save and Continue when you are done. Then you'll have to connect your bank account for payouts. Click Connect Account via Plaid. Plaid is a secure service that helps Etsy safely connect to your bank account. Just follow the steps to link your account, and when you're done, click Save and Continue. After that, Etsy will ask you to verify your identity. You'll need to upload a photo of your ID and take a selfie using your device's camera, which helps Etsy confirm it's really you. Next up, is billing information. Add your credit or debit card details. This is how Etsy charges you for listing fees, transaction fees, and a small one-time setup fee. That setup fee is usually between $15 and $29 for new shops, and you'll see the exact amount during setup. It's charged right away and only once. When everything looks good, click Review Setup Fee and Continue. Finally, Etsy will ask you to set up two-factor authentication to keep your shop secure. You can choose to receive a text message, a phone call, or use an authenticator app. Etsy will also give you a set of backup codes. Make sure to keep those somewhere safe. And that's it. Click open your shop and congratulations, your Etsy profile is all set up. Now let's connect your Etsy shop to Printful. Head over to your Printful dashboard and open the stores section. This is where you can connect Printful to a number of sales channels like e-commerce platforms and marketplaces, including Etsy. Find Etsy in the list and click Connect. You'll be redirected to a page that explains how Printful connects to Etsy. Scroll down and click Grant Access to approve the connection. Wait a few seconds for it to load and once you see the message, you are connected, you're all set. See, that was quick and done in a few simple steps. Now for the most fun part, creating your first product. Click Create Product. Once your Etsy store is connected, you'll be taken to the Create Your First Product page. Here, Printful will suggest a few product options. For example, I could go with a unisex eco sweatshirt from Stanley Stella. If you're redirected to your Printful dashboard instead, no worries. You can still add your first product from there. Go to the My Product section. Think of this as your product command center. It's where you can create, edit, and manage all your designs. Make sure your Etsy shop is selected from the drop-down menu, then click Create Product and choose what you'd like to add first. This will open the Printful product catalog where you can browse hundreds of products. For this example, I'll pick a t-shirt. I'll go to Women's Clothing, T-shirts, and select the unisex staple t-shirt from Bella Canvas. Then click Start Designing. Now, the Printful Design Maker will open. 
This is where you can customize your product. Start by choosing your customization technique, product color, and sizes. For this tutorial, I'll go with direct-to-garment or DTG printing, the olive t-shirt color, and sizes ranging from small to extra large. For this example, I'll only customize the front print placement, but you can also add designs to the back, sleeves, or even the inside and outside labels. Next, it's time to add your design. Most people upload their own artwork by clicking upload, but you can also create something directly inside the design maker. Try using the text tool, clip art, quick designs, or premium images. There's a wide variety of assets to fit any style or niche. If you'd like to explore designing right and printful, take a moment to play around with these tools. For this tutorial, I'll use one of our quick designs. I'll look for a cat design, then add some text using the text tool. Once your design is ready, you have two options. You can save it as a product template by clicking Save Template, or you can publish it directly to your Etsy shop by clicking Publish. For this example, I'll click Publish. On this page, choose your mockups. Mockups are digital images that show what your design looks like on a real product. No photo shoot required. Start by picking your mockup style, then select the mockups you want to use in your Etsy product listing. Look for the star icon that marks your main mockup which will appear as the primary product photo in your store or listing. Click Continue to head to the pricing section. This is where you set your product price and profit. The printful price is what you pay for fulfilling each order. If you check Include Shipping Costs in Calculation, you'll be offering free shipping to your customers. This means you'll cover the shipping cost yourself and that cost will be included in the printful price. From the drop-down menu, you can select how much shipping cost you're willing to cover depending on the country you're selling to. By selecting this free shipping option, once you push the main product to Etsy, you'll need to confirm it in your Printful store settings. To do that, go to your My Product section, open your product, and toggle on free shipping on your store. This activates the free shipping profile on your Etsy storefront, so customers will see the free shipping option when shopping. It's no secret that customers are more likely to buy when free shipping is available. Etsy's data also shows that once shipping costs go above $6, buyers are less likely to complete their purchase. To help improve the shopping experience, Etsy now prioritizes US listings with domestic shipping under $6 in search results. So instead of charging an extra fee for delivery, try including the shipping cost in your retail price. Now, back to the product setup flow. Under price and earnings, you can set your marker percentage. This percentage is added to the printful price to determine the retail price, which is what your customer pays. You can also adjust the calculation by focusing on either your earnings or your retail price, depending on what matters most for your business. At the bottom, you'll see the final breakdown, the retail price and your estimated earnings, which is your profit per order. If you want more control over your pricing, you can also set different prices for each size. Just switch on the buy variant toggle to do that. Click Continue again to go to the Details section. Here you can set your product title, language, and description. You can keep Printful's default description or rewrite it to better match your brand's tone. Scroll down to the Benefits of On-Demand Manufacturing section to make sure the option Add Info About On-Demand Manufacturing is checked. This message tells customers that each product is made especially for them after they place an order, so they know it's produced on demand rather than in bulk. Now, find the size guide section. Here you can add the product size guide as an image. I'll check the box for this example. Including a size guide in your product listing is really helpful for your customers. It shows them the exact measurements and helps them pick the right size with confidence. When you're happy with everything, click Publish. Your product will be uploaded to Etsy and will also appear in the Publish section of my products in your Printful account. And just like that, your product has been added to your Etsy shop. Next, let's finalize your Etsy listing and make it live. When you push a product from Printful to Etsy, it's automatically saved as a draft, which means it's not live yet. Before it can go live, you'll need to review and finalize the listing details. From your Etsy shop manager, click Listings, then filter by listing status and filter by draft. Here you'll find the t-shirt I just created. To edit it before publishing, simply click on the product. You can start by updating the listing title. Under Photos and Video, you'll see the mockups we uploaded through Printful. Etsy lets you upload up to 20 photos and one video. I recommend adding real product photos too to show more angles. This helps customers get a better idea of what they're buying. 
You can also enable product personalization. This feature lets buyers customize your designs directly through Etsy. I've recorded a separate video that walks you through how to set this up, so be sure to check that out after this one. Under price and inventory and variations, you'll see details synced from Printful. If you ever need to update your pricing or product details, you can do that directly here. You can also add more product variants anytime from the Printful website. In the details section, make sure to fill out the product's core details by clicking change. Physical item will be selected by default. Then for the who made it question, choose another company or person and select a finished product since it's fulfilled by a production partner. Because products are created only after a customer places an order, select made to order. Next, you'll need to select a production partner for this listing. Click select production partners, then create a new production partner. Enter your partner's name, in this case, Printful, and choose whether you want this information to be visible in your listing. For this example, I'll leave it on. In the description field, write Print On Demand Production Partner and select United States of America as the location. For the partnership questions, select, I don't have the technical ability or equipment to make it entirely by myself, I design everything myself, and they do everything for me. Click Save, and from now on, you'll be able to select Printful as your production partner for future listings. Finally, click Done, then Apply to add the details to your listing. Next, you'll see that the product is already categorized under T-shirts, so I won't change anything here. Under Attributes, add details like materials, primary and secondary colors, sizes and sustainability information, among others. You can find this information on the product page for each Printful item, so make sure to check there while filling out your Etsy product listings. Then add tags and materials fields. These keywords help shoppers find your products in Etsy search. For this t-shirt, I'll add cat t-shirt, cat lovers, and cotton. Don't worry about perfecting every keyword, you can edit them later. In the processing and shipping section, you'll see that the processing profile and shipping option have been added automatically by Printful. You won't need to create a new shipping profile every time you publish a listing. Whenever you push a product from Printful to Etsy, a matching shipping profile will be created automatically. If you ever need to double check shipping information for a product, you can always find it on Printful's shipping page. If you want to offer free shipping by covering the cost yourself, you can easily enable it in the product push settings. I explained how to do this in the previous chapter, so feel free to go back and watch that section for a quick refresher. Next, apply a return policy. You can use Etsy's default option or create your own. For this example, I'll click Change Policy, then Create Policy, and choose to accept returns within 30 days of delivery. I still recommend reviewing Printful's return policy to make sure you're providing accurate information to your customers. I'll leave a link to Printful's policy page in the description below. And remember, you can always update your return policy later if needed. Keep in mind that each Etsy listing costs 20 cents and expires after four months. Here you can choose whether you want the listing to renew automatically or manually. Just know that Etsy will charge you the 20 cent renewal fee each time it renews. Like with any e-commerce platform or marketplace, payment terms and conditions can change over time, so they might look a little different by the time you are watching this video. When you're done editing your listing, click Publish with Changes. And click Publish once more to confirm. And that's it. Your product is now live on your Etsy shop. You can always review or edit your active listings at any time. Simply head to the listings section in your Etsy dashboard. The last step is to ensure that your billing information on Printful is set up correctly. To do this, go to your Printful dashboard, click Billing, Billing Methods, and add your billing information and primary payment method. Here's how billing works. When a customer places an order in your Etsy shop, they pay you. Then Printful charges you for the fulfillment and shipping of those products through the Printful wallet. Think of the Printful wallet as your digital wallet that makes payments quick and reliable. You can add funds with a credit card, PayPal, Apple Pay, or even Klarna. Once money is in your wallet, it's automatically used to cover each order, no manual payments or approvals required. You can also enable automatic top-ups. Instead of adding money yourself, your chosen payment method will automatically add funds to your wallet whenever an order comes in. This way, payments stay seamless and worry-free. We've got a billing breakdown video that walks you through the process step-by-step. 
click the card or find the link in the description below. One last note, the Printful website is updated periodically to give you the best experience, so a few things might look a little different when you watch this, but the overall setup process will stay the same. And that's it for this tutorial. Your Etsy shop is now all set up with Printful and ready to go. If you need more guidance, visit the Printful Help Center. There you'll find detailed articles that will walk you through every step of setting up your store. And if you'd like to keep learning about selling online, check out the other tutorials on our channel. I've linked one right here to help you keep building your brand. And in the meantime, happy selling.